Welcome back guys to Grandia, where last episode after navigating the north side of Llama Mountains, many trolleys, we reached Gummo Village, finding it full of frogs and people afraid of being talked to as we met up with his elder, who greeted us as honoured guests and mistook Justin and Fina for a brave couple. Preparing a feast in our honour, the townsfolk then began to couple off with our appearance, having seemingly given them the blessing to do so. We soon found out the twist, however, as the festival reaches finale in the morning, with Justin and Fina being sent flying on a catapult to the nearby volcano as a sacrifice to a dragon. How come Gadwin and Sue haven't loaded up on it yet? I'm assuming that fire will do absolutely nothing against these guys. They're dogs! Hot dogs! Hopefully they're weak to fire, he says. Hoping that this is a okay damage. Oh, Earth Not terrible, an Earth level up was got. Okay, not enough damage, but we could be first, depending. I know there's a recover point back there, so we need to go get that repeatedly. Well, it looks like I might be able to grind some good earth experience around this area, but the one skill I want to use is now not really usable, is it? I'm going the right way, aren't I? <laughs> Again? Distinctly wanting to go the wrong way, of course. Matter egg! There's hot doggos here. More tremors. Fine, because grinding earth and getting more power with that isn't really all that Here bad. Because we are basically just getting more strength as well as spell levels. And neither character are gonna go, nah, strength's terrible. Actually attack pretty fast, don't they? They're faster attackers. All right, we won. The my guys. <laughs> I mean, in the meantime, I can get small bits of water. To this is four per heal. This is terrible. All right, well, I've got mana egg, which means that Sue can get her last spell. That's cool by me. Let's go this way then. Yeah, it is Fina's only way of increasing strength. Which has been good because she's generally been in good areas recently for just constantly using Tremor. So she's got a lot of Earth levels, which is why she overtook Jested in no time at all. Whose first spell was it? Everything I've been trying to do with Fida has been right place, right time. Like when I was using fire of her, everything was great. Feel the Earth's fury! It does help the AoE skills are much easier to grind with. It 
also helps her because she's got quite a few levels already. She's got ridiculously big M people. <laughs> Pretty easy. I just got a rain staff. That could be quite useful. Do I switch away from the swords for a time being? <laughs> Tap war smooth. I mean, seems like a good idea. We are low on weapon skill for maces. Our highest is sword nail. We were going to get swords to at least 20 after all, but... I guess we'll change, because it's not like we're unlocking another skill for an incredibly ridiculously long time, is it? It's fire I need to get, after all. I guess we'll use appropriate weapon for area. Let's see if it's really that good, shall we? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. What a cinch. Very much so. Let me hot dog. Just send Justin, he'll beat them both, won't he? Yeah. What a cinch. Well, whip level for Fina gives her even more wit. So she can get faster all the time. 96 is that now. <laughs> Combo! <laughs> Hello. A defense seed. Justin. Are you the main character? Would you like to have some more vitality? Can I actually Fina get vitality? What's Fina's other weapon skill? Wow, Fina cannot get vitality at all past her base. That's a thing. Oh my god, Fina have one extra vitality then. Bam 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 bam. My whip is also a preferential a element as another rod. Why does it always rain staff on me? I mean, I don't mind getting more. I mean, I can sell them if I ever finally sell them. Or as I'd call it, if I ever finally end an episode when I'm actually at a town or shop. Hello, what's over here? I guess I'll just work on my mason whip skill what a further then. But look at these, this couple. Fighting side by side all the way. Looks like Justin's getting a bit more skill based on the, the mace skill being lower. Right, if I change the knife, that's her lower skill currently. Oh, what the hell? I didn't see that thing! It just appeared! What? What a cinch! Scary. Hi, I'm Monster and I'm gonna jump out now and assault you. Continue to look for the goodies. Now that we found the probable right direction and all. Three 
110. What a thing. Another race now. This wouldn't be like the mean thing, like the game keeps dropping appropriate item for area, but actually the item is inappropriate for boss. Properly screwing you over. So that's the way I'm supposed to go. I could stash those rain stats actually, couldn't I? That's a good idea. I actually got two enemies. So, time to tremor again. More than two enemies, even. Here goes! Ha! Am I not hitting the one up top? Oh, Earth, protect us all! Plus one strength. seem like you can really count on these guys, which sucks. You missed? You have one injured by the look of it. Not bad, eh? It's okay. Just keep getting that air skill, people. Poor Sue as well, she's missing out on the experience. Nothing's attacking me at the very least. Okay, now where's this? This takes me back to here. I'm recovering again for whole one MP use, but really I'm coming here because, of course, we picked up tons of these rain staffs. We only need to carry one with me. Let's get rid of some. I mean, I could actually stash the mana egg as well when you think about it. No reason for me to carry it with me. Hello! So we know that's the destination over here. This is so crazy, isn't it? So the way we were going before was probably going to lead to a dead end and wasn't the correct direction. I think. I'm not imagining the place anymore. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this should actually lead to more goodies. Gumbo. I think they actually say mumbo more than gumbo. Oh yeah, here we go. We moved two more centimeters this way. I got a blue potion. Can't get around to the back of this guy though. Maybe I have to go back there from a previous area. Potion is just a bigger blue pill. So now we're getting tears up on that. Mumbo, gumbo. Too bad I can't press A and it just shatters. That is Gabwin style. Yeah, there's weird plants here. It's like, what the hell's that noise? Yeah, yeah, I know that's gonna be a thing, but don't make the big dingling noise. It scares me. It scares me. Oh, I've gone the right way. Look, Sue, Justin, Fina over there. Yes, they are. We finally found them. Hello, Justin, Fina. Ah, Gabwin, Sue, you came here for us. It's only fitting. We can't let you two be sacrificed, can we, Gabwin? Yes. 
At any rate, if we defeat the Fire Dragon at the summit, everything should be resolved. Great, let's do it. Let's go, everyone. Well, Gatwin's got a sword that slays dragons. That's pretty good. Now we have everyone. I mean, we kind of don't need everyone. Now we have them. So, you know, take it when you can get it, I guess. Take this. Just need the second one in. That's another earth level. More fire dogs. Feel the earth's fury! All the magic casts are standing behind the gigantic knight. Sue may be getting to hit someone in the future. Probably not. You're no match for me. He's got a dragon slaying blade. Should be able to deal with quite a bit. Gumbo! So we've come back for some cash this way. This should be taking us back to where we were at the start with that boulder in the way. If I'm right, anyway. I'm guessing the small things to the left are actually, how, see how does that one up top left get hit but not the one just ever so slightly to the left. Questions, questions. Wow, that guy evaded him. What a cinch. I'll take a mace level for some extra defense. And it does indeed look like no one of the experience games got attributed to Sue or Gadwin. Magma Man. Which is kind of sad. When you think about it. at a period of time when they got no experience whatsoever. I can't even get Sue some Earth experience so she could possibly maybe do this. I mean, you could always do Crackle on the big guy. Did we get another rod? I have a feeling that when we fight the dragon, we're going to be casting that a lot. Pretty easy, right, Cuffy? Uh -huh. Well, I never rain staff, so technically Sue could put that on. Okay, are we the dead end yet? I'm back at the base, right? <laughs> Why is this section so big? Expecting such a result. Oh, 
You're no match for me. That whip's really strong right now. How did it get so good? Well, I like this. Going back to find us another big treasure chest is always good. Somehow I got initiative on these guys. Let's continue to get the Earth experience, I guess. Oh, Earth, protect us all! Maybe I should let just cast Crackle onto the one on the far side. like everything's being spaced out quite well in terms of spell power. In terms of just shutting them down and keeping them down. Because Fina will be actually given another go before they probably get all the knockback they're receiving. Anyone who hasn't been knocked back, I think, is the guy that we'd like to crackle. Perfect. Oh, this guy's doing a lava throw, supposedly. That's not what I wanted to cast. I just misclicked entirely. Interestingly, they weren't immune. Fina grinding that war experience. All right, we won. How much war experience did she get for sleeping two guys? Sixteen. Yeah, that's pretty good. <laughs> Maybe I should be casting sleep into that pack. A chain gem has been obtained. Plus one combo attack chance. I mean, that's pretty cool. I know we have chain issues anymore, so let's just let Gadwin just hit more people. Considering we may be fighting a dragon. We'll turn around this time. Right, do I cast news? Like, legit, just try to get... Give me some more experience, guys. Take that! Which chain cast news? The bubbles. Did they all go to sleep as well. Right, can you just cast snooze on someone who's snoozing? Wow, I think you can. It's kind of ridiculous, isn't it? Well, that's one way to war experience grind. You can fight these guys. Use all your level one MP up just casting snoo snooze against a pack of four. And then just kind of like come back a little later and go, oh, I've leveled. That's an actual option here. Okay, I probably should keep spamming it though. Otherwise we'll never move forward. Just here to the end of time now. Oh, power of ice. It's probably the best water experience we've gained in like god knows how long. A ridiculously long time. Here. 
<laughs> oh my goodness. All right, we won. All of a sudden, our enemies did not evaporate. That's 56 water skill for Justin, 40 for Fina, and 32 for Sue. All right, found a pack of snooze fiends. Telling me I can't knock that over? You're kidding. Oh, it's a pack of four again. I want to snooze them. You snooze, you lose, as they say. Allow me to cast one snooze and then finish them off. Want to get that sexy war experience, right? Look at this. We found the new meta. They have like zero resist champs as well. We got water level up with Justin. Who wants to heal? Come on, everyone! Why Let's heal? Go! Poor Puffy. It's legitimately next level ridiculous what we're doing there, to be fair. Yeah, I'm free hits is quite tasty. Try again. How was this back sacrifice even supposed to work? Well, you know, they expected them to blunder into the the bad dragon. At the end of it all, I guess. Right, so I may have found this area, but this area wasn't even the area I was trying to backtrack into. Which is what's bizarre to me. Where was the bit I could see the fire dogs on the other side of some rocks? That wasn't from here, no. I didn't even know. Oh, I missed this bit. It's a ghost! <laughs> it's a ghost. I wonder if you stayed here for a period of time and just cast news on those guys for what entirely one battle. How much war levels do you reckon you get in one battle to use all of your MP? Of course, the problem would be people like Sue, who have a lot less MP. And then again, the problem would be people like Fina, who have a lot more war MP. Which way am I actually going? This is Volcano Slip 1 as well. Okay, so the Volcano Base was a completely different area. This is the area I saw. Yes! The dogs are on all sides of us! What should we do? Apart from cast news, so we can get ridiculous levels. Shh. Don't point out things to the chat that completely contradict the game. <laughs> yes, easy. it is a very good point that if Sue and Gadwin could get here, everyone could just leave the way they came. That is a good point. Don't hit me with your logic. Oh, Gavin can't even break this. Why did we bring you, Gavin? So I was hoping you do, you just power through it. It's just two enemies and nothing else. I guess the question now is which way do I go? I don't like trees.
Another group of these. Oh my god, I want the war experience! Snooze them all! Take that! The thing as well, with status effects like this being like, it's literally 100%. We don't even have a percentage chance that we miss them. We're being 100% like this. We not only get ourselves a crazy amount of good stuff, but we also make sure the enemies can't even ever attack us. Which is just straight up ridiculous. Not win leveled up. It's actually a good way to crowd control them and just wipe them up afterwards while also getting something we genuinely need. Oh, man. There's some kind of smoke in front of us. Gotta do it again. It's like a water level up for Justin and a water level up if he hits. And of course, if we can get a lot higher on the water thing, Fina will learn a lot more skills. Gotta get that guy, Gab. No new abilities learned thus far, though. It's nice that Gabwin can take them out just because we've added the extra combo. If we added that to Justin, of course, with his water power. He'd just be munching through them with single melees. Actually got water level up for Sue as well, thanks to Crackle. Damage multiplier on the combo. Really does spike the damage up quite nicely, doesn't it? Right, Justin levels! Not bad, not bad. Right, well, we've got gas effects here that would lower everyone's HP and then allow you to get healing experience on top of that. So now I can ask myself a different question. Let's use Justin. He's on 85. If I go to level 12 and use all heal, how much skill do you get? Well, skill level went up. So I got 16. Four per person, basically. I'll take it. Alright, I'm having problems with not wanting to find the right direction again. We want to get there. Or as near as possible to our boss. And again, the search for mana eggs takes precedence, doesn't it? How do I get back over that boulder? Oh, this way. Is this the actual correct way? Somehow I think it wasn't. But now I'm starting to doubt that too. In there, Justin. Base level up too. Man, you have a ridiculously large amount of spell power. Oh, power of ice! She can cast like 25 of these before running out. However, really can so she does need to just get some more level ups of things anyway. So she's got more MP. Pretty easy, right? Huh? Uh -huh. Oh my 
much water experience for that kind of shot. Now we got a snooze SC. Put all enemies to sleep by bubbles. I mean, I guess that's a hint. Maybe we should be trying to put them to sleep. Why would we do such a thing? Why would we do this to our poor enemies? Are you actually going first? I'll let you use a big spell. What? They're not all dead? You gotta never race them. You can't be joking me. You're no match for me. Gavin got the hit. Saw them that. Some more wit for him. So no mana egg up here, just some extra cash money. Okay. So we've been left. That's where the gas was. I remember when you got healed by all healed, didn't they? Check there. Hey dogs. There's an item up there. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Almost like, get away, Gabwin. You want to cast spells against these guys, I will. Great on these. And I still had space. That's the more surprising thing. Oh my goodness. They're so this area's so big. He says that I haven't seen that before. Oof. Never win, level up. If I go on to you, maybe, just maybe, Sue can attack the hot dog. That's never race that. Is that never one? I need to go back to the stash and just snatch all them. Then probably if I sold all these range stamps, I'd probably be in the money. Oh no. Oh wow, well, I missed the cash. Oh, so that's the tree. This is silly, this place. The people of Dyke come here to throw rain stats in the volcano. The last thing they want is rain. Oh, that makes sense, yeah. What a great observation. Oh my goodness. Oh, they're attacking great. I'm in here. Oh, I didn't get a Oh, I got this. <laughs> Somewhere. Did you notice Gadwin's actually nerdy leveling? Yes, it's true. It's actually true. He's close. Somehow. Close. Fina got another spell level up. You're kidding. I mean, not that I don't want it to happen, but it's just bizarre. That means, that means, of course, she's got even more MP. I think this place is a grinding paradise. Oh my goodness, it's 500 experience till he levels up. <laughs> I 
The impossible is about to become probable. You're nearly out of mana there. Job's done. Feel the Earth's fury. You know what? I just realised this game is so old, but it is one of the actual things to do. Earth level up. If you want a oh, whip level up, if you want your gamers playing your game to actually engage with all its systems, no magic, etc. And not just stick to like melee or something by giving them all their own individual skill levels. It actually works, doesn't it? Just a thought. Whereas, of course, you can neglect one side or another based on certain stats. I mean, thinking of games like Final Fantasy VIII in particular, where magic is just a stat stick and you just want to be attacking. Alright, so I crossed there. Which is the actual way to go that's forward here? How do I get up there? Oh my god, it's Justin and Fina are going first. Take that! I mean, that's a crap ton of water experience just waiting for me to grab. I'm not going to leave it. I'm even going to use your last experience to do it. That's your last MP. Come on, everyone. Let's go. I guess the reason the negative of the system is, of course, that you end up doing this. So we're not actively trying to kill the enemy. Instead, we're trying to game the enemy for our own gains. All right, of course, that's just literally grinding, but it's, it's grinding in a different way. Our goal isn't necessarily to kill the enemy before us, is it? How do I get up there? I can't go anywhere. Looks like you can maybe push this in. Get into the back rows then. So usually you're of course wanting your your players to oh, defeat the enemies in front of them, but it's like, no, I've got to use this to get this and Gamwin just clearing everyone out. Did she win? Pretty easy, right, Cuffy? Sue got an attack. It's a miracle. Gadwin and Sue have level. Gadwin is level 31. Look at those stat gains. He actually leveled. What a madman. He got stronger from being with us. How do I get up there? I mean, actually, is there a door there? No. They're way round. Oh my goodness! There is! Scary noise! Gavin's crawling! Where am I going? Look at Gavin crawling. How did he fit? Why didn't Gavin just wait? 
Another fire jump. Actually, that sounds like a great. Idea. Look at him. Look at him. There, it's Frogman. Onto the crew. Hey. Successful dodge. Can we reach the volcano crater? There's still more enemies. Oh my goodness. So it looks like the grinding here is just continuing onwards no matter what. Enemy after enemy after enemy waits. Ow, ow. Waits before me. And I need to stash all these raid stabs <laughs> before I can really continue on. Because <laughs> I'm just getting completely full of the things. So I think. Considering there's even more areas to go, I might end our session here so I can get back, ditch my stuff, <laughs> Pretty easy. and then come back this way. It'd be nice to get some more water levels as well before we go on any further, to be perfectly fair. Gumbo! So I think I'm going to return back down the volcanic slope, and we're going to end it here. Yes, I know. Cliffhangers as usual, because the dragon can't be too far off, but our allotted time for this week has reached its end. Its end. So I'm going to return back to that recovery point, get my spells back, stash everything, and then I'll see you next time as we face the dragon and escape this place. Hopefully, perfectly fine. And hopefully, with a resolution that they won't hate too much, because maybe if we kill the dragon, that would be bad for their couple ceremony. I don't know. I hope you tune in next time for more Galandia as we continue with our dungeon crawling and adventuring. I'll see you then for more. Bye-bye. <laughs>